This is NFL buy or sell. I'm a nerd about stocks. So I like to talk about NFL teams as if they were stocks. I buy an NFL team. I sell an NFL team. I'm high on teams. I'm low on teams. This is NFL buy or sell. Everyone after the Seahawks and Texans game put the Seahawks as the number one team in the NFL. They put them atop their rankings. I think everyone was crazy. The Eagles are clearly the best team in the NFL. They're the favorite to win the Super Bowl. They're balanced. They have a great quarterback. I buy the Eagles. I'm all in on the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm also buying the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are going to get a wild card spot. They beat the Chiefs last week. They're legitimate up front. They have a great offensive line, a great defensive line, and they're very stable at quarterback. They have a good quarterback. Not a great quarterback, not a top-tier quarterback. But Dak Prescott can win you a Super Bowl, especially with that roster. I'm buying the Cowboys. I'm selling the Redskins. Look, it's very sad. The Redskins are the... I think the Redskins might be the best team to not ever make the playoffs. They're, they have a great coach, a great quarterback, but the truth is the NFC is simply too good. Their division's the best division in football. They have the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Redskins are not going to make the playoffs. They're so close, but it's sad. They will be the best team in history to not make the playoffs. I'm selling the Redskins. I'm buying the Seahawks. I know the Seahawks just lost to the Redskins. I'm not worried about it in the slightest. They're making small, fixable mistakes. I know Blair Walsh missed three field goals last week. I know that's, that is not the end of the world. That's not going to happen again. The Seahawks lost a fluky game to the Redskins. The Seahawks will be okay. I'm also selling the, I'm selling the Panthers. What can I say? All of the problems the Panthers are having revolve and stem from Cam Newton. Cam Newton is immature. He's inconsistent. You cannot win with Cam Newton and the, pa- the Panthers are going to miss the playoffs. The Falcons are off. I'm selling the Panthers. The Falcons seem to not be able to recover from losing the Super Bowl last year. And the Falcons will not make the playoffs. However, I am buying the Saints. The Saints are like the surprise of the NFL. They're 6-2. and two. They're on a six-game winning streak. They will win the NFC South. And they're absolutely annihilating. It's fantastic. They have a great offense. They have a great coach. They have a Hall of Fame quarterback, Drew Brees. And they have a good defense this year. The, the one missing piece the Saints have always had was a good defense. Now, I'm worried about them down the stretch because their defense is so built on rookies. If the rookies can hold up, the Saints are absolutely contender for the Super Bowl. I, you know, the AFC playoff picture is very interesting. I'm selling the Chiefs. The Chiefs, you know, big players deliver in big time moments. And on Sunday against the Cowboys, the Chiefs played in a big time moment and Alex Smith could not deliver. I love Alex Smith. I don't trust him though. Even with the number one roster in the NFL, I do not buy the Chiefs. I'm selling the Chiefs. I'm buying the Patriots. The AFC is actually a really weak division. The NFC has all the good teams. AFC, not so much. It's a team where the wild card spots are awful. So the Patriots, because of how weak the AFC is, the Patriots will make the Super Bowl. I don't know if they'll win the Super Bowl, but the Patriots will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. And I'm selling the Steelers for that same reason. The Patriots are going to make it. The Patriots have the Steelers number. The Steelers can't make it done. They're, the Steelers will make the playoffs, and then they will hit a wall called Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and New England. They have all kinds of turmoil in their locker room. I don't believe in the Steelers. The Jacksonville Jaguars also will not make the playoffs. I'm selling the Jaguars. I love their owner. He's my favorite owner in the NFL. And they have a great defense, but they don't have a quarterback. And you need a quarterback to win in the NFL. It's very simple. The NFL has one rule. If you have a quarterback, you can win. If you don't, sorry, you can't. Blake Bortles is not good enough. I'm buying the Vikings. The Vikings will win the NFC North. They have a great defense, a good coach, and they're getting their old quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, back from an injury. I'm very excited to see what the Vikings do. I'm buying the Vikings. I'm selling the Lions. The Lions have not won the NFC North since 1993, and the NFC is the most competitive division in football. The Lions will not make the playoffs. I do not trust Matt Stafford to make it happen. He hasn't done it before in his career, and I don't think he's gonna do it this year. And finally, I'm selling Jameis Winston. I don't normally sell players, but I do it every once in a while. Jameis Winston needs to figure it out. He needs to mature. He sold, he, he stole crab legs in college, and I need to see better decision-making from Jameis Winston. He started a fight on the sidelines. You can't have it. The Buccaneers are awful. I'm selling Jameis Winston. That has been NFL buy or sell.